And breaking news to tell you about the attorney reportedly behind the plan to keep former President Trump in power just surrendered today in Georgia. John Eastman was booked at the Fulton County Jail in Atlanta and then released. He is one of 19 co-defendants, including Trump, facing charges in a Georgia criminal case. They are accused of plotting to overturn Trump's 2020 election loss. And Donald Trump has indicated he will surrender to authorities on Thursday. His bond was set at $200,000 with the judge warning him about making threats on social media. Griff Jenkins has the latest. While his rivals in the Republican primary field are in Milwaukee for their first televised debate Wednesday, former President Donald Trump will be making plans to fly to Atlanta for an appearance at the Fulton County Jail Thursday to face charges for orchestrating an attempt to reverse the state's 2020 election. He's expected to be fingerprinted and pose for a mugshot. It's all part of the normal process for defendants, although this case is anything but normal and some are already criticizing the spectacle. It's notorious. It's unsafe. No person under Secret Service protection should be anywhere near that facility. But instead, they're, they're going to put people at risk, in my view, uh, by making them go through uh, this perp walk. Trump's lawyers were spotted arriving at the Fulton County Courthouse Monday with the unprecedented job of negotiating bail conditions for a former president. His bond was set for $200,000 with orders to appear in court and not issue threats or post about the case on social media. But he did announce his travel plans on Truth Social and slammed the district attorney and the Justice Department in the process. I make decisions in this office based on the facts and the law. Um, the law is completely nonpartisan. Still, all the the drama is keeping the former president from campaigning and costing him and his 18 co-defendants tons of time and money. Every level of the Republican Party, okay. money is being raised to support the legal defenses of those who are being wrongly persecuted, because mm. that is the only way there's even a chance of their legal rights being ultimately vindicated here. At least one co-defendant has already turned themselves in at the Fulton County Jail. Scott Hall was booked on alleged voting machine tampering charges. In Washington, Griff Jenkins, Fox 32, Chicago.